Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Um, I left you for a couple days because my webcam on my laptop um, isn't working. And um, I've done everything I know to do. Um, I've been working on it for almost 24 hours straight. <laughs> almost called off a work to work on it because I'm just getting started on this venture. And uh, I don't want to miss anything and I don't want you to miss out on anything. So anyway, um, I still haven't fixed it, but I sent it um, with somebody that can. So what I'm doing is I'm using a borrowed laptop and a borrowed um, webcam. So I'm, you thought I was bad with the other one adjusting, and I'm really bad with this one because it's a whole different computer, different size screen, everything. But anyway, straight on. First thing I want to talk about real quick, and then we're going to get into the Pilates exercise. Great workout. My abs were sore, but it's a head-to-toe Pilates workout. Um, it's going to be a full 30 minutes, but obviously I'm just going to go through it with you. Um, just a few reps of each exercise, and I will give you instructions as we go. Um, but what I wanted to introduce, because I need some feedback from all my girls and guys, um, <clears throat> but this, what I'm wearing tonight is part of my new um, lipstick runner. It's probably going to be introduced in the fall 2011. But it's um, part of my, um, drawing a blank, it's part of my simple line, um, but that's not, the, that's not what we're calling it. Anyway, basics, basic line. Um, but anyway, what it is, is I have yoga pants, which I have not offered yet, by the way. Um, I know you all want them, and they're going to come in four different sizes, so any size can wear them. Um, but I have a yoga pant, which this is pedal pusher size. And it has the fold down waist, which I love because you can do it a higher waist if you want to cover scars or a little bit of a belly. Or if you want to show those abs, which if you're not now, you will be if you stick with me. Um, you can fold them down. And then the tops, the tube tops come in white and black. Um, the pants are going to come in long, short. Um, and the tops are padded if you need extra padding or you can remove the pads if you don't need that. I originally designed them um, or or purchase them to go under my one shoulder tops for girls that want more support um, but I have found they are so cute with a long yoga pant um, very cute to wear to yoga or Pilates also this right here this studded sorry the studded wonder on my head is a prototype to my belt I am going to offer studded belts on my clothing that can be removed and worn with jeans or you can wear them with the other lipstick article um, and they're going to be some of them with the wide waistlines. I'm going to have really thick studded belts. Some are going to have a smaller studded belt, but tell me what you think because I'm in love. But anyway, that's my quick commercial break, okay? We're going to get started on the workout. So all you need is your Pilates mat. and. Um, <clears throat> Still do your 30 minutes of cardio. I don't have enough time on here. Uh, once I get a better video camera, I will, mm, I'll be able to record longer videos and post them. And I can do full workouts with you. But right now, I don't have enough time. So I really can't put together a good cardio routine. All I can tell you is warm up for five minutes. Before a workout, do about five minutes of cardio, whether it's jumping jacks or jumping rope. Get the heart moving. It's always nice to get the heart moving, and you'll burn more calories when you're working out, even if you're laying on the floor, doing a floor workout. Um, but I want you to keep those 30 minutes of cardio a day. And those of you that are doing that with me, here in a couple weeks, we're going to up that. We're going to uh, increase that 30 minutes. So anyway. I just wanted to throw that in. I still want you to do your cardio. What we're going to do is I'm going to go through, um, I think there's 11 moves, and uh, some of them, the uh, reps will vary. So I'm going to give you the reps as we do them, okay? The first one we're going to do is you want to get into plank position, which are basically a push-up. Feet slightly apart, hands shoulder width little bit out from the shoulders depending on how you do your push-up but you want your back your butt your neck everything in a straight line you want to tuck those hips under so your back's in a straight line and then what you're going to do is I want you to bring your right foot in front of you into a lunge <clears throat> knee slightly over the ankle you want to tighten that core and then I want you to take that straight leg and down up down up 
Don't lock it out completely, but try to get up as high as you can with that. And you're going to do 20 on that side. Then you're going to come back into your plank. That's going to be our transition move, okay, or, or our transi transition <clears throat> stabilizer. And then you're going to put the left foot in front of you. Same thing. Abs tight. Down, up, down, up. And then you're, after you do 20 on that side, uh, you can sit down. You can go into child's pose. Or you can stretch for a second in the fetal position. Wherever you need that stretch, if you need it in your back. Um, but stretch for a second. And then what I want you to do is roll around. I want you on your back. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what he said. <laughs> I want you on your back. <clears throat> and then we are going to do a slow bicycle, which is going to be lift the shoulders, press the abs and tummy into the mat. Lift to the shoulders behind your head and start doing the bicycle move. But I want you to do it slow. Now, typically in workouts, you'll do this, but this is Pilates, so it's more core than abs. But a strong core will give you good abs. <laughs> so it's more core than abs. So what you want to do is you're going to do slow, controlled movements and you want to focus on your breathing. You always want to breathe on the exertion, okay? <clears throat> so then you're going to do that. Then I just want you to do 10 of those to get the movement. Now I want you to do this. I want you to take your shoulder, don't lift that lower back off the ground, just the shoulders. And I want you to take that shoulder and chest and aim at your opposing leg with that. Okay? So you can work your obliques. What is this okay thing? I'm going to go back to um. So, you, so you're working your obliques. A little bit, a little bit of your lateral muscle, but it's really a good all over ab exercise. So you're going to do, actually that would have been when you finish 50 total. And then we're going to go into scissors. Sorry, I had to grab my notes. We're going to go into scissors. So you're going to be on your back feet out in front of you. Actually, let's start in our position. Let's start in our foundation position here. And then I want you to legs out. Make sure your belly's tight and your out or your back's pressed into the ground and do low scissors. Don't touch the ground with the opposing leg. Just hover over the ground, but do them slow and make sure you breathe on the exertion like this. You're going to do 40. You're going to count to 40, which would be 20 each leg. Hmm. Then we're going to come down and we're going to do slow leg lifts. You don't want to lift that lower back off the ground. You want them up, down. Exhale going up, down. 20 of those. Now we're going to do my signature move. I'm sure someone else has it, but I like to think I created it. And what you're going to do is you're going to sit up. Sorry. You're going to sit up. I want you to take your arms. This is kind of a uh, yoga move, a tree, we call it the tree. But you're going to take your arms and you're going to wrap them around each other and clap like that, okay? And then I want you to take your legs and as far as you can, I want you to wrap them around. So we're going to pretzel. I call it pretzel crunch, okay? Now you're going to go back, swing the legs up, and then crunch two. Now you are going to fill this one and you're going to do 20 of them. <sighs> exhale, <sighs> exhale, exhale. <sighs> you're going to do 20 of them and there's no modification in this. You can't quit. I want you to do all 20. It's going to hurt, but you're going to love it. Okay, it's going to hurt so good, I promise. <laughs> now, 20 of those down. Now we're going to go to um, my push-ups. You know I had to have a push-up, right? So what the push-up is, checking the time, sorry. What the push-up is, is you're going to go into your plank, which is basically a pre-push-up position, and there's a thing called tri-push-ups if you have not done them. Sorry. There's a thing called tri-push-ups. <laughs> tri and what a tri-push-up is, is you take, instead of when you do a regular push-up, your arms are shoulder width or so apart, and you go down, your arms are kind of out. Tri-push-ups, you bring your arms in, 
against the body and go down. They're a little bit harder. You may need to modify, which will be on your knees. So figure out what you can do or do half and half. But what you're going to do, I haven't even got to the hard part yet, is with your right arm you're going to do the tri push-up. Left arm, you're going to keep it out, a regular push-up. So this is kind of like patting your belly and rubbing your head at the same time. It takes coordination, but I want you to do 20 of those. Then you're going to switch your arm and do your tri push-up on this arm, regular push-up with that arm. So it's like this. Make sure the abs tight, head is up and modify if you need to because I barely could do 20 of those myself. <laughs> so, after we do 20 of those, I wanna go ahead and um, do a reptile plank. This would be a good time to take a good stretch too. After you've worked those abs, lay on your belly and stretch all the way out. Stretch those abs. You can come over and stretch, over and stretch. Okay, that would be a good time to get a nice stretch in there. But then we're gonna go right back into the next exercise. Um, the next exercise was my reptile plank. So, some people call it Spider-Man. I call it a reptile because that's what my girl, Body Rock does. Um, anyway, let me take this out a little bit. Sorry if there's a lot of movement. But I'm hoping you can see me. Okay, mm. so what we're going to do <coughs> is you're going to get back in your plank position. I told you this was going to be our foundation position for the night. I'm trying to get in a position you can see me well. Let's see. There we go. Get in your plank position and then core tight, always core tight, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to come go down with a push-up just a slightly down, not all the way down, and bring your leg up and then up. So bring this leg, try to bring it to the ear. Down, up. This is a great core workout. Down, up. You're going to do 20 each side, okay? Now the modification to that would be on your knees, but when you come down, I still want you to bring it up. Or I should say, I want you to bring it to the elbow, your knee to the, or actually cross the elbow. I want you to get that leg up there as high as you can. But that would be the modification, and you would exhale on the exertion. So you exhale going down. <laughs> and then finally, <sighs> we have the reptile plank, which is what we just did. Okay, but we're going to bring the heart rate back down a little bit. We're going to start cooling down. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same move we just did, but you're going to hold it into a plank, okay? So I want you to hold that plank. Now what we're going to do is I want you to hold this plank for 60 minutes. 60, <laughs> 60 seconds. Woohoo! You can do it for 60 minutes. I will give you my empire. But anyway, um, hold this position for 60 seconds, and then just do what we did, but you're not going to do a push-up with it. So just bring the leg here, here. If you prefer to swap this and do this one, then the push-up, just to get a feel. If you're not used to doing this move, it can feel kind of awkward. So just to make sure you've got the form correctly, which would be your core tight, breathing on the exertion, and legs as far up as you can get them. Again, 20 each leg. But you can do that any way you want it. You can put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> so if you want to do the push-up first and then do the plank, that's cool with me. Um, and then lastly, we're just going to stretch. We're just going to cool down. And I only have about 50 seconds. So just some stretching exercises. Just find your stretch. Come down in the middle. Take it over to each side. Get in your child's pose. <sighs> do the butterfly. And then just lay flat on your back and stretch the belly muscles. And I hope you enjoy that workout. I will try to be more graceful next time I have a long workout. But thank you for joining me. And we will talk tomorrow. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Mm, good night and Godspeed.